Hello. Mass spectrometry can provide high degree of confidence for analyte identification if used properly. So let's review what kind of information can mass spectrometry uh, give and how to make good use of this information. Uh, first of all, mass spectrometry gives us mass to charge ratio for um, quasi-molecular ions, adduct ions and product ions. This information is particularly useful if obtained from the high resolution and high accuracy mass spectrometer. In addition to mass to charge ratio, um, we obtain also the ion intensity ratios. With respect to LCMS an analysis and validation guides issued by SANCO and the European Commission decision 2002 uh, 657 uh, are most specific. They give guidelines and set criteria for using uh, mass spectrometric data for analyte identification. First of all, we need reference spectra for the analyte. Um, those can be obtained by analyzing uh, standard solutions of, of the particular compound. Uh, the reference spectra are obtained using the same instrument and the same operating mode as the samples. And preferably, uh, the reference spectra should be recorded uh, within the same analytical batch uh, as the samples. Usually, we don't uh, record uh, full mass spectra. Instead, we record a small subset of our diagnostic ions. Uh, for diagnostic ions, um, the quasi-molecular ion uh, is of particular interest as this reflects the molecular mass of the compound. Therefore, a, a quasi-molecular ion should be included uh, within the uh, diagnostic ions uh, for identification purpose. It can be included as directly as quasi-molecular ion or as a parent ion for some uh, fragmentation. Uh, ions of high mass to charge ratio uh, are regarded more specific than those of low uh, mass to charge ratio. But um, the high mass to charge ratio product ions, which are formed by loss of common moieties like water, uh, are of little diagnostic value. Therefore, we should seek for fragments which are formed uh, by loss of specific fragment for a particular uh, analyte. The choice of diagnostic ions also depends on the matrix, matrix interferences. Uh, so if the matrix uh, interferences are present, uh, different diagnostic ion should be uh, chosen. Analyte peaks from mass chromatograms um, in sample and in uh, calibration standard uh, should be similar with respect to retention time, peak shape and also response ratio. Uh, chromatographic peaks on extracted ion chromatograms for the same analyte must overlap. Uh, and as for identification, we use multiple ions. Then for quantitative analysis, just single ion is used. And uh, this uh, ion for quantitation uh, is chosen based on the high signal to noise ratio and um, lack of uh, chromatographic interferences. Now, uh, in addition to mass to charge ratios present in the mass spectrum, uh, spectra, we also need to pay attention to the ion ratios of uh, the signals. Uh, so the ion ratios of signals from a sample and from the uh, standard solution must uh, match. And as criteria for this match, um, the European Commission has uh, set certain limits, which depend on the relative intensity of the peak in mass, mass uh, spectrum. 
For example, if the relative intensity of the peak in mass spectrum is 40%, then we have to look at the second line in the table. So the required tolerance in analyzed spectrum is plus minus 25%. So 25% from 40 is 10, and therefore the range of acceptable um, relative intensities in analyzed mass spectrum is from 30 to 50 percent. Uh, Sanko validation guide uh, also sets uh, similar limits in the similar manner, but all the tolerances are the same, plus minus 30 percent, uh, regardless of the peak intensity in the mass spectrum. Okay, so the um, requirements for intensity ratios must be met, but for how many ions? Uh, the number of uh, required uh, ions for identification depend on the uh, mass spectrometric technique used. And um, for example, uh, Sanko uh, has uh, defined the required and diagnostic number of uh, required diagnostic ions in this table. For single stage low resolution mass spectrometry, at least three diagnostic ions are required. Uh, for single stage high resolution mass spectrometry, uh, two diagnostic ions is sufficient. For the most common experiment type, the MS MS. Uh, experiment, at least two product ions are required. And clearly for all those diagnostic ions, the criteria set for the intensity ratios must be met. The number of points uh, required for identification depends on the uh, technique uh, used for uh, analysis. And uh, European Commission decision uh, has um, implemented a system of so-called identification points. Uh, to identify substances which have anabolic effect, uh, four points are required. And to confirm identity of, for example, veterinary drugs, uh, at least three points are required. The number of uh, identification points earned for each analytical technique um, are listed in the guideline. A uh, few examples are on the, in the table. For example, if um, um, precursor ion is recorded using uh, low resolution mass spectrometer, one point is earned. For uh, low resolution transition products, uh, 1.5 points are earned for each ion. Uh, for high resolution mass spectrometry, uh, the number of points earned are larger. And one example for calculating the number of identification points. Uh, let's take an example of the typical LC-MS-MS experiment, where two transitions per analyte are recorded. As we need to isolate one uh, precursor ion, then this earns us uh, one point. For our, uh, both transition products, uh, we earn 1.5 points. So in total, we earn uh, four uh, identification points. So although uh, the requirements are set in a different manner, uh, the requirements by European Commission and the SANCO are in agreement. So uh, the uh, SANCO and the European Commission guidelines are most specific uh, for LCMS uh, work. Therefore, why not use those requirements? <laughs>